Well, the U.S. State Department is now looking into what could be a new sonic attack. That word from a U.S. diplomatic official who says this time it happened in China, but it is similar to what took place in Cuba last year. While this latest incident involves a U.S. government employee is being investigated, the U.S. Embassy in China has issued a health warning to citizens currently in China. The Chinese government also says it is investigating the incident. I want to go now to Beijing. Our Matt Rivers there standing by. It's certainly a very concerning, very mysterious episode. And I understand the American diplomat has suffered some brain damage. What can you tell us? Yeah, well, this was a, a very odd uh, afternoon here in China. Most American citizens uh, subscribed to an email service by the U.S. Embassy, and the U.S. Embassy sent out this health alert uh, talking about uh, one of its government employees who is based in southern China in a massive city called Guangzhou, where the U.S. has a consulate there. And apparently this uh, employee reported abnormal sensations of sound and pressure from a period starting in late 2017 going all the way to April 20. 2018. That employee then went back to the United States and was clinically diagnosed with mild traumatic brain injury. And given all of those symptoms, given the diagnosis, it piqued our interest because of what happened in Cuba last year. There was about two dozen diplomats and their family members uh, who were affected by similar symptoms uh, and had similar diagnoses in some cases. And the U.S. Uh, Department of State has said that there could be some sort of uh, sonic attack involved in that. They also have said that they haven't conclusively determined what happened in Cuba. And this latest case in China has brought up more questions uh, at this point, Linda. So really just a, a very kind of confusing situation. The Department of State says that there are similarities between both cases. They're not accusing anyone of conducting an attack. Uh, but they are, are certainly concerned and trying to get to the bottom of not only what happened in Cuba, but now what's happened in China. Yeah, Matt, major concerns, and certainly for those officials working where this, uh, this American diplomat was based. What is China doing about it besides uh, they, they obviously said they're launching an investigation? Yeah, well, and actually just in the last couple of minutes, uh, Foreign Minister Wang Yi of China actually on his way back from a trip from Argentina stopped in Washington, D.C., speaking alongside Mike Pompeo, uh, the Secretary of State in the U.S. right now. And, and China actually has said uh, that they have found no evidence of any attack, but they are helping uh, in this investigation. They're going to help the United States try and figure out what's going on here. The United States has said that they alerted their Chinese counterparts and that they are receiving assistance. Uh, but, and so far, this is one case. It's one diplomat. There hasn't been symptoms shown by others, but that's part of the reason that the U.S. Uh, Department of State here sent out that notification. They want anyone who had been experiencing symptoms like this to come forward and let them know. So far, though, Linda, all we know about is the one case that has been uh, reported publicly uh, by the embassy here. All right. Stay across that story for us. Matt Rivers for us in Beijing. Good to have you with us. Thanks so much.